it's must see TV to, to watch those two. Wherever I'm at on the field, I try to watch the whole picture, but my eyes go right there. Two pros that are incredibly blessed with talent, but they, they uh, really are technicians and want to be great, and they challenge each other each and every day. And to watch the respect amongst each other, it looks like during the snap they're trying to kill each other, but then they help each other up, they compare notes. It's really been fun to watch. Two guys do, who can do it as well as anyone in this league and they, you know the coolest thing is to hear them say how much better they're going to be for it. Yeah. Um, iron sharp, sharpening iron at the highest level. That is 49ers general manager John Lynch talking about the training camp battles between new left tackle Trent Williams and second year defensive end Nick Bosa, which has spawned today's draft. The best intra squad one on one battles because that's all we got. No joint practices, no preseason games until the games start two weeks and three days from today. It's going to be team against team on the same team. That's today's draft. I have this trivia question for Chris. Here it is. In 2012, Chris, the 49ers had a first team all pro offensive lineman and a first team all pro pass rusher. Can you name both? Okay, so Joe Staley, I'm going to say, is the first team offensive lineman. And then. Um, Justin Smith, the defensive lineman from, am I right? Smith was second team. Uh, Alden Smith. Uh, Alden Smith. You got the right last uh, name, not the right first name. And Staley was second team as well. Mike Upati. See, that one was a little unfair ooh. because you're thinking you're thinking a blocker on the edge to take on the edge rusher, but you did all right. They were, hey, they at least uh, all play for the 49ers. All right, so I've got the first pick here. Um, I you know I is it is it. I, I, Wait, I do we want to take Williams and do we want to just do that? Do we, we take, take them, it off the board? Do we take them off the board? I mean, they're I obviously. Let's take them off the board. Yeah, okay, take them off. Fine. All right, this is the Trent Williams and Nick Bosa Memorial draft. I am going to begin with one that I'm afraid if I don't take it right away, you will. And I thought of this one yesterday because there was a tweet about the defensive player making a play on the offensive player and knocking the ball away. Let's go to Tampa. Who's going to cover Rob Gronkowski in practice? How about Levante David? Ooh. And uh, it manifested itself yesterday, and I was afraid you'd lurk on that one, so I'm going to go right to it. I'm going with the star power and Gronk and Levante David. David, one of the better linebackers in the NFL, who doesn't get nearly the attention and praise he should because the team hasn't been very good. Maybe this is the year that people finally realize this guy's pretty good. And at least for now in practice, maybe Gronk is realizing this guy's pretty good. Yeah, no, I I, I uh that was I wrote down Gronk versus Tampa linebackers because Devin White's there too. They're both studs, right? You, I mean, that would be like, you know, can't miss TV regardless. But yeah, Gronk, Hall of Famer. Those two guys, I mean, you could argue that's the be one of the better linebacker duos in football. They can run and play the ball as good as anybody in pass coverage. So, uh, all right, I'm not mad at you there. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to go to the – I'm going to stay in the AFC East. I'm going to go Stephon Diggs versus Tredavious White. That's one I'd like to see. I mean, Tredavious White, all pro corner. We know he's one of the better corners in the game, certainly the best corner there up in Buffalo. And then you got a guy like Stephon Diggs who – 1,000-yard receiver – you know, one of the highest paid in the game, great route runner. They're both technicians and have unbelievable feet. So to me, that would be unbelievable to watch with Josh Allen throwing them the ball and one-on-one -on -one matchups and seeing who wins that way, both being feisty. Uh, I, I think I'd kind of like that. Yeah, I think that makes a lot of sense. And I think this is just back to that iron sharpening iron, right? You have a great corner, which – I, nothing against Xavier Rhodes, nothing against Trey Waynes, but Tredavious White, he was an all-pro last year, and uh, I think that may help Stephon Diggs refine his game just a little bit more and get to the next level. All right, I'm surprised you left this one on the board. This one involves a former 49er who now will ah. be in Indianapolis. Aha! Trying to get past Quentin Nelson and the rest of the wall. They built a wall there. Well, now they need something to pierce that wall into DeForest Buckner. So Quentin Nelson, DeForest Buckner going at it in practice. I would pay the full price of admission to witness that. Man, I mean, I know you would. Damn, I should I, I should have picked them first. You wouldn't have picked Tredavious White and Diggs. I, I, I wanted to do that one, but I was afraid you'd take the Tredavious White Diggs one. But, yes, that's a great one. I mean – Holy crap. Does the earth shake when those two hit each other? I mean, seriously, they are two of the biggest. I mean, Quentin Nelson is 
a block of a body with a block head, and then DeForest Buckner is just like a giant. I mean, he's a giant. I, I mean, I, I literally think the practice ground shakes when those two hit each other. All right. Gosh, damn it. You really pissed me off there. All right. Um, I'm going to go I'm going to go to something similar and and two teammates that have never had a face off until this year. All right. And that's where I'm going to go. Jason Peters, Fletcher Cox. That to me would be a fun matchup. I mean, Fletcher Cox has played defensive tackle his whole career. Jason Peters, Hall of Fame left tackle. Now he's playing guard because of the Brandon Brooks injury. So they're having to face off every day in practice. I mean, that, that's that got to be unbelievable, too. There's two Hall of Famers going against each other. Uh, I, I would pay to watch that. I mean, Peters is phenomenal, unbelievable size, can move about anybody. And Fletcher Cox is one of the most disruptive defensive players in football the last few years. So uh, along your lines of Buckner and Nelson, I'll see that and raise it with a Peters-Cox combination. And, you know, every one of our picks so far yeah. involves a new – a it new has. matchup, right. right? Even though Peters and Cox were on the team together, they didn't cross paths like this in practice. So now I, I'm I'm struggling here because there's a lot of different ones I can do. There is. I'm, I'm going to go Miles Garrett and Jack Conklin in Cleveland, right? Okay. Conklin got the big contract. Yeah. Garrett got the big contract. Who's going to earn their contract? Who's going to prove their worth? Who's going to be the ultimate alpha at the top of the mountain? And they both end up better for it. When it's time to go play the games, if you are facing a high-end talent in practice over and over and over again, that makes you better when it's time to go play in the games. You made that point last week. The offensive line needs to have that edge. They need to have that nastiness. They need to keep the defensive line awake, get the most out of everybody, so you're ready to go to the games and be as good as you possibly can be. No. So I'll take Garrett and Conklin. Yeah, that, that's a good one. I mean, it really is. I mean, Conklin, of course, awesome right tackle. Miles Garrett might be the best pass rusher in the game right now. And, and yeah, I mean, like again, I know we've talked about that, but that is something if I'm a head coach – I am just take, I'm I'm on my defensive line every day to bring the intensity, piss this offensive line off, you know, keep driving them crazy by going 110 miles per hour and playing to the whistle and all those things because it's the only way they're going to get ready for, you know, prime time. Here we go. Fresh bodies coming in in a regular season football game, and uh, I think that's something to watch out for. All right, I'm going to go to a little wide receiver DB matchup. Michael Thomas, Marshawn Lattimore. Down there in New Orleans with Sean Payton dialing up plays and Drew Brees throwing the ball, and we know like every two out of every three plays is going to Michael Thomas anyways, but Marshawn Lattimore, you know, a top 10 corner in football, definitely one of the few corners that has like size and strength to match up with a guy like Michael Thomas and not be bullied at the line of scrimmage. That's where I would love to watch that. You know, yeah, they're two guys that can run and make awesome cuts and do that, but very physical for their two positions they play. Uh, and I would think that gets pretty uh, heated and competitive. So Lattimore and um, Michael Thomas. That's a good group. I think we did all right here. You know, when the idea was first planted, I thought, oh, God, this is going to take some thought and it's going to take some work. Usually the drafts are things that we just kind of off the top of our head, you start rattling off names. You really had to sit down and think about it. Where do you have the great player on one side of the ball that is going to be encountering the great player on the other side of the ball? It's got to be two great players who are bashing right. you know, heads every single play, and, and it makes both of them better. I also had... Uh, Devontae Parker and Byron Jones. Yep. Since Byron Jones is new to Miami and Devontae Parker last year finally fulfilling his potential. Who else did you have on your list? I had Devontae Adams and Jair Alexander. Uh, I had Ryan Ramchek and Cam Jordan. Um, I had Hollywood Brown versus either corner in Baltimore that I would I would like to watch. And then how about, you know, Zadarius Smith versus Bakhtiari up in uh, Green Bay? That would be another one I'd, I'd like to watch. And one other one that I had on there that really isn't a direct head-to-head -head matchup, but it kind of bubbled up over the weekend, Jimmy Garoppolo and Richard Sherman. And if you read between the lines of Kyle Shanahan's comments about Sherman picking off Garoppolo in consecutive practices, Sherman knows what the offense is. He no knows doubt. where the ball is going to go. He's peeling off of his guy right. to pick off the pass where he knows it's going. 
And what they ultimately did, they went over the top on Richard, giving him flashbacks to Devontae Adams in the championship game and Sammy Watkins in the Super Bowl uh, to keep him honest. So maybe a little chess match going on between Jimmy Garoppolo and Richard Sherman, and we know it's documented what Richard Sherman once yelled at Russell Wilson after intercepting him in practice. (laughs) Remains to be seen if Richard Sherman yells that at Jimmy Garoppolo at some point after picking him off in practice. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.